Well, they call this the FA Cup of Darts. It's a chance for amateurs to rub shoulders with the top players in the world at the UK Open Finals in Minehead. Last year there, we saw a bin man beat the world champion. Barry Lynn knocking out Gary Anderson. Magic of the Cup. But for the pros, it's six qualifying tournaments right here in Wigan that decide the 96 places available to them. As for the amateurs, their dream starts in Riley's clubs up and down the country. This is a massive thing for Riley's. We like, we look forward to it from one year to the next, and all the players that come to play in it, it's really, really special for us. There were four weekends of action at Riley's venues across the UK. Entry costs just £6 per person and could be a chance of a lifetime for those winning through to the TV final. Back in Wigan, and even the big stars of the game need to qualify for this event. One of those included Michael Van Gerwen, who amazingly hit two nine darters on the way to securing his place at the UK Open. He couldn't, could he? He couldn't, could he? He could. He has! Michael Van Gerwen fires in two nine dart finishers in the same match. Well, that was it for MVG. Two nine darters in an eight-leg match. He won the tournament, got on a plane, flew home and put his feet up. We had a couple of wins for Peter Wright, a couple of wins for Simon Whitlock. But today, in the final qualifying tournament, there is still a lot to be decided. If you look around now, this is, this is where we have to qualify, you know. In, the, in my beginning years in the PDC, we still did that in pups. So it was a way different than now. There's so many good players struggling to get, to get into the later stages of tournaments because there's so many good players, it's unreal. You know, so every single of these players in here, they are prepared, they are ready. So for the first two rounds, you need to play close to 100 average, otherwise you've got no chance. As players were knocked out, they nervously checked the stand-ins to see if they'd done enough to make the TV finals. Someone who celebrated success was Peter Wright. He won the final qualifying day, making it three wins out of the six qualifying events. All struggled with the UK Opens, but are approaching in a different way this year. I actually went, then goes on my rankings instead of just like turning up. So it's really weird. So I've been texting Simon and keeping, uh, we're having our little battle between us and that, and texting him and saying, I'm after you and he's after me. And so yeah, we. I'll beat you, Simon. Oh. <laughs> now the field for the Coral UK Open has been confirmed and a total of 128 players will compete at Butlin's Minehead Resort.